Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about an, a couple events that happened throughout the summer and we still have a few left. Um, it's Thursdays in the Park which is they're put on by the Queen Anne's County Arts Council and I have Belinda Cook the director there here today to tell us about the upcoming August Thursdays in the Park. In the Park I can't talk. Welcome Belinda how thank are you? you? Thank you. We actually have one coming up pretty quickly, but we've had two already and they've been very, very well attended. And so we're really excited about August 7th. We've got one for the kids and families. I'm excited about this one. And we thank the Queen Anne's County Tourism Office for helping us sponsor that one. It's Milkshake and, and they're um, a rock and roll band for kids. Um, I'm really excited to see them. The lead singer wears a tutu and yeah. fry boots. <laughs> so we're gonna have a hula hoop contest, face painting, and Rita's has agreed to come and sell ice cream. So it should be a blast and I mean, for the entire family. And this one is down at the Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center yes. right at Kent Narrows. So this is right on the water there mm -hmm. at the Narrows. It's gonna be a beautiful night and um, you know, there's you bring your chairs, bring your blankets, bring the kids, come see. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the kids, is, all of them are family friendly, yep. but this one in particular, is we tried to really hit the mark, you know, get everyone in the county involved right. with our selections and music this year and that's so, so that's august 7th and then mm -hmm. the next one after that is august 21st that's our last one okay and we have bobby and the believers at the oh. mattapeak amphitheater very okay. popular popular band from crownsville that's coming over they've been around for a while Long and time. it's and you can so, see from their photo it's a huge band oh, and a lot of fun everybody would dance and i'm yep. sure they yep. do motown they do 50s they do 60s they do today's music so we're really excited about that, but that's our last one for the right. season. Right, and that you said that's going to be at Mattapeak at the mm -hmm. amphitheater, which is where the old ferry terminal was, Mattapeak Beach. And if you haven't been there, there's actually an amphitheater built into the grounds there, so the band will be lower and everybody will be sitting on the hillside watching and with the bay behind you. We're really, really excited to be able to highlight this venue, which we've tried to do this year too, like we're having the one at the mm -hmm. Tourism Center, but we're really excited. I think we'll be the first group to use them so we're really excited to highlight this right. treasure I mean it's off of Route 8 yep. so and then um, if they want to find out more information about the uh, Thursdays in the park the upcoming ones we have your website up on the um, screen now but tell us about your chair the chairs the chairs <laughs> another the chairs, arts council the chairs um, activity that's you know going I'm on. picking up the last one today um, from artist Amy Cummins on Kent Island it's going to Bridges restaurant and we're going to unveil them August 1st okay and you'll see them all over the county in sponsor locations like the Narrows and Fisherman's the Crab Deck and then we're going to pull them all back into the Art Center on the 20th of September so mark your calendars from 5 to 7 we're going to have a wine and beer nice. tasting with the Eastern Shore Brewery from St. Michael's okay. and Crow Vineyards from oh, Chestertown nice. one, you know, our local guys and you can bid on them all line, online during the month of August, but then we'll have the final silent auction in the Arts Center, in the Center for the Arts, on September 20th. So that should be a great event. Okay, and so when will they be out around the county again? The first week in August. Okay. I'll start placing them in the businesses. But you can go to our website after August 1st, and you'll be able to see each of the That's chairs. That's what I was going to And you can bid online on them. And these are, um, they're Adirondack chairs, mm -hmm. the, like mm -hmm. the big white There's ones There's 14 of see. them. There's only 14. Okay. And they're all painted by local artists like Sally Clark, Amy Cummins, very nice. Rugg. I mean, we're really excited. So it showcases the artists, and we match them with sponsors that, that where they are located. Those people right. sponsor like Annie's. We match them with the businesses. So we're really, really excited. Excellent. So it's a win. Mm -hmm. And and the money from the auction goes back to the Arts Council. Yes, thank you for reminding me. We're trying to expand <laughs> our children's programming, which is why we came up with this fundraiser. Right. I thought this is a way for us to keep those programs affordable because we offer camps. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure that all the kids in the county can afford to attend. Right. So we're hoping that this will raise enough money for us to do that. Okay, perfect. So give us our your website. www.queenanscountyarts.com. Okay, and you all and they're open six Tuesday we're open through Tuesday through Saturday. Saturday. But you can always catch us. It right. seems like. But and we're open Tuesday through Saturday. Yep. And stop in. I mean, that's what I was going to say. If you've never been in there, stop in. There's things to see. And yeah, I mean, the summer exhibit will come down this week, so it may not be up. But we'll have an exhibit in there every day. Excellent. Starting in September, the month of August is our one hiatus. But after right. that, there'll always be art hanging for okay. sale for people to see. Perfect. Well, thanks so much for coming in, Belinda. Thanks for having and I hope me. You, everybody gets to get out for Thursdays in the park and that you have good weather. I hope so. <laughs> All right. Thank thanks. you.